Hi everybody, thanks for watching. This is my daily vlog. Today's vlog is going to be about tips about when you're buying a new build. One of the things I found out about new build is that they're very desirable, a lot of appeal, a lot of popularity amongst people. You know, they like the idea of they being the first to move into a new build, new development, new site. It's a very great feeling. However, I thought I'd put together some pitfalls when you're looking for a new build development. There are certain things you should, you should be aware of with a new build. So I'm going to go back to my list and I'm going to tell you what I thought. The first thing I said is dodgy developers. Make sure you check the developers that are reputable and that you've got an NHBC scheme uh, attached to the property, the National House of Building Scheme, which helps protect you against warranties over 10 years from when the property was built. So dodgy developers I put as an important thing to look out for when you look at a new build. The second thing I'm thinking about is premium pricing. One of the things I found in new build development is that they tend to be higher priced than an average house in the area. So make a, a comparison check because the problem with buying something overpriced or higher price is that when you go to sell it yourself, you have to sell it for more than what you paid for it yourself. So you don't want to put yourself out. So check that the premium pricing is acceptable to you and it stacks up. So compare. And the benefits, uh, one of the things about new builds, I need you to know that it's also a good chance to negotiate with the developers because developers have got huge stocks and they want to clear them. And obviously, clear them as quickly as possible, move on to the next site. So this is a good opportunity for you to negotiate hard uh, on a new build. Shop around for the good deals. Um, some developers can offer you furnishing, carpet packaging, and interiors, you know, certain goods with, with the property because it's new. So try to shop around for a deal and try to bargain um, your way into a new build, which is an advantage there. Um, also, with a new build, I advise to plan to stay in it for a couple of years so that you regain the value, you benefit from the additional value. Um, proof, time and time, it's shown that new builds appreciate better over time as opposed to when you buy it. So if you're thinking of getting a new build to do a quick flip, you might struggle to get your money back um, on that. Um, also, look at a new build and say to yourself, can I add value to this new build? Some new builds, especially the modern day new builds, tend to be very fixed in sort of, you can't put an extension, you can't really have, there isn't much scope um, with land being a premium. So you have, always have at the back of your mind, when you're going into a new build development, can I actually add an attic, can I add a basement, can I have the garage, can I use it for something else? Because looking into the future, that is going to add value. Um, one of the things also I wanted to mention about new builds, there tend to be delays in moving in. Um, because one of the things you have to be aware of, especially when you're buying off plan, developments don't always work in the time scale that you're promised. So be prepared for um, a long term completion date. So if you've got an off plan proposal and it's proposed for 18 months, 12 months, if things don't work in that schedule, be prepared to have a backup plan if you're in a chain. With new builds, also watch out for the warranties because there's various snagging issues that occur with new builds. You've got new builds that has all sorts of snagging issues because it's a new fabric, new build, all sorts of things that happen at the very preliminary stages of the, of the site. And just um, make inquiries around about the NHBC scheme before you, it expires, when it's valid from. Make sure that the warranties in place are tight. I would say that's possibly my biggest uh, advice to you today so those are my tips for buying a new build a new site and anybody looking for a new sites comment if you've done a property from a new site from a developer comment let's hear what you have to say what were your experiences like and if you're looking to to do one um, it would be, it'd be nice to hear from you to find out what your views are and what you've seen so far about what we've talked about on this vlog so thanks for watching that's my daily tip today 